Hello Libra, welcome to your reading for the first week of September 2020. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I'm Mercedes and this is Empathic Solutions Tarot. I just wanted to use some of these oracle cards here to get some information. Uh, about what may be going on and a little bit of you know a happy message you have I witnessed the darkness and call on the light with my prayer thank you universe for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love And we also have, there is a stream of love supporting my dreams. Right now, I think that uh, there has been an illumination of darkness. And you really had to learn to find love for yourself. Uh, and then find the brighter side of it. The universe is asking you to follow your your dreams to dream them for you Libras tend to overgive and sometimes don't give to themselves so these cards are telling you to really look at what's working for you in your life but be honest because uh, fear is underneath giving to yourself So, give yourself some love. You deserve it. You are a giving sign and um, give to yourself is what I think the universe is trying to tell us here. Okay, well, let's start with some tarot cards here. I pre shuffled already and cleared the cards with some sage, so I'm not going to spend much time on the shuffle here. Two more. Okay. All right. First card up. The Nine of Pentacles. All right. This is reiterating what I said uh, with the Oracle cards. The universe is asking you to be self-sufficient, to give to yourself, to nurture yourself, to look at all that you do have and all that you have made so far. Give yourself some credit. Next card up. Oh, see? The Spirit wants you to know that if you're leading with your dreams, you are going to receive victory with it. The universe is supporting your dreams you just got to dream them for yourself and not in the face of of what somebody else that you love might need it's really a time it's almost Libra season right now we just started Virgo season so we're going to be coming into you know our, our solar return uh, part of our sign. Oh, I'm a Libra, by the way. <laughs> so, um, what is going on in your making will be received well and supported by the universe. And this is a card of victory. Up next. Okay. I think that um, the past and nostalgia is sitting there remember remember the lessons that you have learned in the past because you're coming into a new season look at that it's two sixes right there um you might get a call from somebody from your past or you might be recalling childhood memories let's get another card 
Ah. And this is leading you to choices. And the choices you have in front of you, I mean, look, it could be uh, victory, it could be wealth, it could be buying a home, a person, knowledge. Whatever it is that you're desiring, right here, you you need to pick. As I have my hand right in front of the camera. <laughs> uh, next up, oh, okay. So, um, don't be hasty. Uh, the Knight of Swords, he rushes in and he's maybe not well thought out, you know, and then comes in with a cloud of dust and, and then soon as he's there, he's gone. <laughs> he's in too much of a hurry. So if you're in a hurry and you're just choosing out of, um, desperation or feeling that time is running out, uh, slow your roll. Slow your roll. Remember what you learned in the past because your choices right here are going to be of your dreams and your own self-sufficiency. Okay, I want to get some clarifying cards right now. Let's see. I'm going to use the Fountain Tarot. You may have um, someone from the past rushing in. And uh, maybe in the past they offered you a lot of things. Or said they were. But really they left you more confused than not yeah these would be the <laughs> these would be the promisers right there but they're going to come in and find that you're working on self-sufficiency where once in the past maybe you would have had a, a, a weaker stance and been more open to just accepting whatever was thrown at you that's not the case now Let's see what we have. There we go. The Ten of Cups. <laughs> see, no one's going to rush in and take your Ten of Cups, right? It's emotional fulfillment. And emotional fulfillment comes with being self-sufficient, being in your power, knowing that you can take care of yourself. You don't need anyone else to come rushing in. And having you make choices before you're ready. You know, it's, it's your manifestation. Okay. And you need confidence within yourself because, like I said, they could come back in and, and be promising things. But really, the only promise that you should believe is the one that you keep with yourself. All right. What next for Libras? What can we get for the first week of September 2020? Ah, the Five of Wands. Yeah, see, I'm really getting that this person rushing in. And by the way, it doesn't have a lot of feelings behind their, uh, you know, they're kind of fickle. They're coming and rushing in, promising, and, and at first it's okay, but tell them no and see what happens. Then I think that it becomes, you know, the friendly back and forth banter it becomes negative. Because here you go, boom, all in red. And you've had some pretty, uh, you know, look, everything is, is blue except for your confusion. And then this person comes in and fans of fire. Don't fall for that shit. <laughs> okay. One more card. The page of coins. This goes back reiterating your nine of pentacles. 
this is a message of manifestation you will see in the month of September some uh, results from the choices that you're making and it's going to go towards your ten of cups and the universe wants you to have that I tell you they, that it does all right let's get some cards from uh, for the universe message and um, I'm using spirit song tarot all right popping out is the four of swords all right spirit says pay attention to your dreams and that also supports your supporting your dreams card here and the oracle cards. Let's get another one. Universe is asking you to find sanctuary in your own dreams and following. All right, oh, two cards. The Hanged Man and the Page of Cups. Okay, so you're looking at Finding a new perspective, exploring your dreams, and filling your cup. Really filling your own cup so that you can be uh, manifesting the dreams that it's asking you to follow. So I really think your whole reading is about following your dreams and knowing that you can do anything that you can think and plan. And all it takes is one step in the direction and the universe is there co-creating with you. All right, I'm going to leave it on that note. And I hope that you come back next week. Thank you, Libra.